Good morning. It is day three of a week on air frying. A week on cooking in an air fryer. A week on air fryer. I don't know what this is going to be called. You will no doubt know because you've clicked on this video and you are watching it, which means I've titled it and I've gone about this too long. So I am quite hungry this morning. Grace is away. So she, she she's not here to disapprove of my actions, which means if you don't see day four of this series, it means that I ruined the air fryer and Grace killed me because I'm going to try bacon. Oh yes, bacon, that's not so strange. But I'm also gonna try fried eggs. That, that could go horribly, horribly wrong or horribly right. We will see. Yesterday's meals were a bit questionable. Um, so I'm dubious to try anything too adventurous, so why not go even one step further? <laughs> and undubiousness myself. Not a word. I'm gonna put the air fryer on and try fry an egg. Air fry an egg. Right, I hope you're ready to observe magic happening. So, I have my bacon ready to go in drawer two. Draw one, let us try. I've got the liners in there. <laughs> I don't have anything else that could potentially work to contain my eggs. So I'm either gonna have delicious eggs that stay within the paper lining, or I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning. Either way, Grace is never gonna know. This is gonna be our secret. So in goes one egg. Uh, that's run down, so it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun to see how this turns out. That's what I get for doing it at an angle. Come on. And in goes egg number two. It's run straight down there, of course. Hopefully when I put the draw in and it's not at this angle, um, it won't run down. Can you see that there? There it is. Cracking content. <laughs> get it, egg humour. Um, bit of pepper on there. Ugh, if I can just reach the salt. Okie dokie. In goes. Go, some, go more central. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm scared. I'm also excited. So, they're not going to need the same amount of time, are they? So, uh, we're going to want to sink them. So, in draw one, we're going to air fry for... What do you reckon? Definitely not 20 minutes. Not gonna need that long, I don't think. I'm gonna try five. Then number two, uh, because it's bacon, we want it crispy, so we're gonna max crisp that biatch for probably a bit longer. Let's try seven minutes. Okay, pray for me. Well, I can smell the bacon, um, and I'm, I'm semi-confident this is gonna work because Google says so. Um, the top answer in, um, in the SERP is uh, that it takes five minutes to fry an egg in an air fryer. So we are three minutes down and counting. So let us see <laughs> in the next one minute and 45 sec, 44 sec, three. Okay, I could do this all day. One minute, 40, yeah. Oh, it's starting to go. Certainly not five minutes though, Melanie cooks <laughs> in the syrup. What about this bacon though? Oh, the bacon's getting there, steaming up the old camera. So, uh, oh, yes, that is not ready, is it? So, we want to sink again. We want to air fry the egg, probably for a good few more minutes, I would say. So, let's try three. Uh, and then number two, we want to max crisp that bad boy. And... No, we'll do you for three minutes as well. Okay. Let's check on it. Ooh, it's all ah, hot. It is nearly there. So it's got about 40 seconds left. Bacon's looking good, right. We're getting there, team, we're getting there. Right, well my eggs are proper stuck to the paper. So we, we are still learning. We are still learning with this air frying journey. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to eat off this bloody thing. No, no, it's coming, it's coming. Relax. Relax. There we go. There is our eggs. I need to uh, need to try and sweat the bacon out now. The bacon should hopefully be much easier. So come out. And there we bloody go. There we bloody go. Don't look uh, too bad. I mean, it looks a little bit bad, but let's try it. Hmm, it smells pretty good. The eggs are incredibly overdone. So there must be a way <laughs> to look at that. 
Mmm, that's an appealing egg yolk. There must be a way to, to do it better than, than I just failed at. Yolk tastes good. Tastes nice. Doesn't taste greasy, obviously. Bacon. Mmm, listen. Lovely and Max Crispy. Who is Max Crispy? We shall never know. Oh, and there is a bit of runniness to that egg. Can you see that? There is a tiny bit. Oh, not in that one. But in that one, there is some runniness. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. He says, hopefully. But I love how the air fryer has kind of congealed all the bacon to become one kind of bacon patty. That would be perfect for a burger. Absolutely wonderful. All right, I'm going to go and devour this because even shit bacon and eggs is good bacon and eggs. Doesn't make sense. Excuse me. What's the matter? What's your beef? Hey, what what is your problem? Oh, can I have some love? Oh, my heart. Well, what can I say? Breakfast was actually pretty nice. I mean, okay, yes, the eggs were hideously overcooked, but they tasted good. And the bacon was absolutely delicious and crispy. So more of that, please. Thankfully, Grace is not going to shout at me because the air fryer has survived to see another day. But she is still away, so going to take the opportunity to do something else that could potentially lead to her shouting at me, and that's a ready meal. So if you've seen the first two days of this week on, you'll know that I've uh, said how you can, in effect, put anything in an air fryer that you can uh, normally put in an oven. We've proven that that has varying degrees of success, but we're going to try and see what a ready meal's like in the air fryer. So this is a chicken and pasta bake. Uh, pasta, chicken thing. Don't know what words are anymore. So um, yes, I believe this is gonna fit in the air fryer. So let's try it out and, uh, and try and get a nice delicious lunch without burning the house down. Right, how, how many is the good amount of times to stab a meal like this? I'm not sure. So, let us open up the drawer, place you in like a glove, you see. Turn you on. So, uh, this should take chilled 30 to 35 minutes. So, let's try it first of all about half that time. So, we shall air fry for... Uh, no, that's the wrong direction. Let's try it for 15 minutes. Uh, I will check it periodically to make sure there is no fire. Uh, so, let us see. I mean, obviously, there is the option for microwaving, but that's not on the theme for the week. Ooh, so far, kind of so good. It's my slight burning smell. <laughs> However, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. That from there? I don't. And here we go. Here is one air fryered ready meal. I mean, seems seems like a normal ready meal, doesn't it? Let's try it. Oh look, it tastes like a normal ready meal. Just done in sort of a lot less of the time. Although, ironically, not as short as it would have been doing it in a microwave. But you know, it is what it is. That's fine. That's all good. It's a nice ready meal. You can do it. It's fine. I don't. I don't know what to say. Bye. The door's not over there. Oh, I see what you're doing now. Being a little tart in the sun, are you? Yes. Okay, I will leave you alone, Mardi. Oh, right. What a day. Busy, busy day. So. I have done my work for the day. Ugh. Tap, tap with that. Now I have an appointment to go to before I even think about dinner. And trust me, I'm thinking about dinner because lunches have been quite, uh, yes, quick, easy, small, as is most lunches when you uh, are working. So uh, I'm gonna go and do that. Then I shall come home think about what I'm going to shove in the old air fryer. Believe me, I'm going to shove some stuff in because I am hungry. Right, I'm late. Got to go. <laughs> right, I am back. It is dinner time and I've got a, uh, a new gift for my air fryer. Well, it's probably more of a gift for the environment because 
I've gone and got silicone tray liner thing. Um, a couple of these, so one for each drawer. Figured it's probably going to be better than uh, constantly using a paper liner once and throwing it away. Although it does seem counterintuitive because I'm going to have to use those paper liners, otherwise, you know, those trees died for nothing. So maybe I'll just use them in combination with each other. But either way, we can use these in the long term if they're good, but we will find out. So it is time to cook some dinner. In the first tray, some chopped onion and pepper. In the, well, trying to go into the second tray without touching it because I don't want to get chicken. Right, there's still a bit there, but you're gonna have to pretend it's in there. Um, in the second tray, chicken. Uh, and then into both trays, some fajita measoning, measoning? Seasoning mix, not measoning six, seasoning mix because Fajitas, yes, I've screwed this up. Can't do it again because that's in there. Whatever, I'm going to make fajitas. Tom T2, Tom T T. Diddly dum, diddly dee. Normally in a pan you would cook all this together, of course, but you know, I mean, there's already not enough room for the veggies in there, let alone chicken and veggies. So I'm going to put you in there. I'm going to give it a mix. Right, I'm going to have to get dirty with this, aren't I? dirty and somehow not get it everywhere. Okie dokie, in goes the chicken drawer, in goes the veggie drawer. Now the question is how long to cook. So we're going to want to sink uh, and we're going to want to do the first one on air fry for chicken and it's going to take around 14 minutes. Uh, and then in the second drawer, we're also going to want to air fry. However, according to the internet, because nothing's ever wrong there, we're going to want to do that for uh, 190 degrees C, uh, and that's going to want to be a little bit longer to get nice and wet and juicy. So we can come back to it. We can check it along the way. But it's going to be interesting to see how it goes down. Fajitas in an air fryer. Is it possible? Is it worth it? We shall find out together. Hmm. There appears to be some rather blank bits in there, doesn't there? And the chicken's like the opposite. I mean, some of the chicken's quite well done, but um, other, other bits are pink. So we've got half burnt, half raw chicken in there, and half raw, half burnt veggies in here. So maybe... That needs to be on a little bit less than 190. You lied to me, internet! Right, I'm gonna have to salvage this somehow. <laughs> well, it's kind of salvaged. I mean, some of the chicken, yeah, let's be honest, is like this one. <laughs> this one's quite, quite caught. It's all flavour. But yes, it's flavour. Same with some of the onions. I mean, that's crispy. Mm. Tastes good though. Oh yeah, it does. Right, so I've got all my stuff here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I'm going to make um, a fajita on the internet. I'm sure it won't be to everyone's taste. I'll get yelled at in the comments. Using a bit of uh, low-fat Greek yogurt. Oh, it's not Greek yogurt, is it? What is it? It is Greek yogurt. It is Greek yogurt. So I was right. Second guessing myself now. Instead of sour cream, just to make it a bit healthier. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we had sour cream on homemade. No. Ooh, there's fajitas. not much chicken, is there? I'm going to have to load up on the old veggies. On the old burnt veggies. Right, there's that. And of course, over here we have a bit of cheese. We've got any salsa -y type stuff. I don't think so, darling. Oh, God. You okay. Put some smart ketchup in it. Mmm, delicious. Right, I'm just <laughs> going to try this as is. There we go. There is a questionable air fried fajita. Mm, get it in there. Okay. it tastes like a fajita, but more hassle than it was worth. Don't do a fajita in the air fryer. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Oh, oh God. Right. I'm going to do my conclusion because I'm grumpy. Because it turns out doing fajitas in an air fryer, not that great. It's a bit rubbish. So, yes, I'm sad that I've wasted good fajitas because the chicken was overcooked by quite a lot. <laughs> Although, to be fair, the flavour was really nice with the slightly 
crispiness to it, but it was just chewy and dry. But it had the, uh, you know, the yogurt in there to moisten it up. Um, also, the veggies were slightly overdone, but most of them were nice. There was just a few crispy bits in there. Uh, <clears throat> the cheese was nice too, and I really wish I had some sort of salsa. I screwed up and, and forgot to get some. What are you going to do? What are you going to do is, I'm going to complain about overdone fajitas on the internet. So, what about the rest of the day? Bacon and eggs for breakfast. Again, the eggs were um, were overcooked. I'm noticing a theme with this week already in that um, it's hard to to judge how to cook things. I think I'm going to have to do things in bursts rather than like putting it on for 15 minutes and then going away and leaving it and letting it do its thing. I need to sort of do it in five, six minute increments and then check it and then do whatever necessary changes because I'm just diving in thinking, oh, the internet says it's going to be X, whereas it turns out it's not X, it was actually Y and I've ruined things. Um, so yeah, sad times. My ready meal though for lunch was fine, it was a ready meal. Cooking it in an air fryer was pointless, it would seem. I don't I don't feel like that added anything. Um, yes, it was quicker than doing it in the oven, but it wasn't as quick as doing it in the microwave, so just do it in the microwave if you can't be bothered. Like honestly, just save yourself the hassle, the energy, the issues, whatever. Save yourself whatever you like to save. Um, but uh, yeah, and then dinner was overcooked for heat, has tasted lovely, just overcooked and also liked salsa. But that's not the air fryer's fault, is it? That's definitely my fault. But there we go. That was day three. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to choose more wisely my meals going forward because so far it turns out you can't cook anything and everything in an air fryer. Some things you can. Some things you can cook very well, but some things perhaps not so much. But we will save the big overall conclusion for the end of the week. So, yes, I'm going to think about what choices I'm going to have on day four. So if you want to see what those choices are, please do consider supporting the show on Patreon or becoming a member here on YouTube, and you'll be able to watch the rest of this week on right now, and you'll be able to see if we can salvage this entire hassle mess of a week, because it's not going well so far. Cannot wait to see the comments calling me an idiot because for the most part this week they would be right so thank you very much for watching and i shall see you when we're hopefully going to make things better on day four